Have you been thinking about opening up your relationship? Are you terrified of speaking to your partner about it? You're not sure what they're going to say or do? It's really common. A lot of people go there. Read why is it important to talk to your partner about it? So that you're not scared. Because holding back information and will usually get you more and more anxious. Yes. It will take up more bandwidth in your head. You'll probably start worrying about something mm -hmm. or it'll really be bothering you and you'll spend so much energy trying to forget that you're thinking about this all the time <laughs> that your partner might notice. And then they're going, what's going on? Why are you so weird? Yes. And then they're going to start mistrusting you and being like, you're obviously holding something back. Mm -hmm. And then it just erodes the intimacy. Well, and if you're resisting an experience you really want to have, you eventually you start resenting the other person mm -hmm. for mo the most part. And that's not good for a long-term relationship. Yeah. So this is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. This is Kathy Vartuli from theintimacydojo.com. There's several different things you can do to gather information before you have this conversation. Mm -hmm. So you can go in. A lot of people have no idea what an open relationship is. So if you just sit down with your spouse or your partner and say, I want to open up a relationship, they'll be like... They, they're always going to think the worst case scenario for them. This is, is whenever you start a new conversation with people and you say, hey, I want to do such and such. Most people will jump to the worst case scenario, yeah. not the best case scenario. So you get to get some information and find out what appeals to you and what different possibilities there are. There's a Showtime uh, poly, uh, Married and Dating. Mm -hmm. Polyamory Married and Dating. Showtime show that just aired. And Kamala Devi did a great job. They, they showed some really beautiful possibilities. Mm -hmm. That's a good place to check it out. And that's just one kind mm -hmm. of polyamory. That one couple there. There was also a triad that was on the show. Mm -hmm. So understand that you have a lot of different... like Non-monogamy can look a bunch of different ways. So at some point you want to do your research. Yes. I recommend having the conversation first and then going and doing the research together. That's really beautiful. And, and, and basically approaching this scary conversation like it's a difficult conversation, of which we have lots of information on our websites about this and another video that you can check out. Yes. And you basically want to tell your partner, this is what you're worried about, what you're afraid of, this is what I'd like to have happen by telling you this thing, and then here it is. In this case, I'm curious about open relationships. What do you think? Right. And then you're just like, wait for their answer. Your partner might freak out a little bit because they're going to their worst case scenario. Yes. But inviting them to do research with you, and this is killer and important, tell them, reassure them that just talking about something doesn't mean you have to do it. If you go to your partner and you're like, I'd like to get a puppy, and they have a conversation about getting a puppy, it doesn't mean you have to get a puppy. Same thing with open relationships, but they're just a lot scarier for most people yes. than puppies. Yes. So it might look like going to your partner and saying, honey, I'd really like to talk to you about something. I'm scared that by bringing this up, you're going to freak out and leave me, that you're going to shut down, that you're going to always be questioning whether I'm being faithful to you. Um, I'd really like this to, op to bring more connection and love into our relationship and let us both be self-expressed, whatever we decide to do. And what I haven't been told telling you is I'm curious about open relationships. We recommend Tristan Terramino's book, Opening Up, Great resource for yes. lots of different kinds of non-monogamy. And reinforce to your partners over and over again, we're just talking about this. This doesn't mean we're doing anything. Yes. A lot of people in relationships feel more comfortable when they know, mm -hmm. and you've reassured them, that if we're going to do anything, it's going to be a lot of conversations and some serious decision making. It's not like, hey, honey, how about we open up the relationship? And then the next morning, <laughs> you show up with your new boyfriend. No, that's not how it works. And it really helps to have a lot of information. We're not saying that people, everyone should have open relationships. We just want to provide information for people that are curious about mm -hmm. that. When different relationships fit for different people, different couples. So you get to decide what's right for you and your partner. Not every family should have a puppy. 
If you'd like to leave some comments or subscribe to this YouTube channel, we'd love to see you. Bye.